Apes and Apets, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another very choppy day of trading for AMC and the broad markets. For a while today, AMC was doing very, very well and then we flipped to being negative. There is some things that happened today. The Fed essentially killed the stock market today. There is also some rumors that we must acknowledge, which it came up on the newswire earlier, but then I went to try to find it again later. Uh, and just uh, about a half an hour ago and it was gone so this is very interesting and what we're going to talk about here in this video might make you a lot of money at the very least but it could also help to trigger the moas obviously it is just a rumor and it is not confirmed so take it with a grain of salt but i think it's very exciting at least as a possibility that you guys should definitely be made aware about we are going to go over as well as that all of the usual data that we cover here in this video the institutional option flows the short interest the stock tracker data the max pain the 13 f filings and what happened with inflation today and the technical analysis so if you guys get education or not not simply entertainment out of this video hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel as well as comment down below let me know what you guys think about this rumor what do you think about amc heading into the near term future so diving into this amc did close at 18 dollars 59 cents per share at one point we hit 20 dollars 96 cents per share we almost broke out above 21 dollars but it was a really good thing to see today that we only got one test of Twenty dollars got rejected and then we came down and then broke through 20 and remained above 20 for a while one test the downside went right back up with ease so it looks like 20 dollars is not going to be a huge level of resistance once bullish sediment goes back into the markets i know uh who knows when that will be considering what we're going to talk about later on into this video it could get a whole lot worse and when you're thinking about that, and when I say that, I mean for the markets. Yes, AMC would sell down as well, but that restricts the liquidity and that puts us close to the MOAS. There's nothing else that will cause the MOAS besides liquidity being restricted. If hedge funds have no choice to cover on their short positions, that's when you see the MOAS, not any other time. You could see these short-term rallies but not the MOAS until that happens. I want to be very clear about that. If you guys have any questions, you are confused, you think I'm a dumbass, come join us on the live stream later on tonight and I will break it all down for you guys. So if we're going ahead and taking a look at the data that came out today, so it says inflation surges 7.5% on an annual basis, even more than expected and highest since 1980. The consumer price index for all items rose 0.6% January, driving up annual inflation by 7.5%. That marked the biggest gain since February 1982 and was even higher than the Wall Street estimate. Core inflation rose 6%, which also was a notch above expectations, and real earnings for workers increased just 0.1% on the month when accounting for inflation. That is essentially wage growth, growth plus or minus inflation, and that comes out to... Uh, usually over the past year, 7% inflation, 5% wage growth, you actually lost 2% of your um, earnings from 2020 to 2021. So that's what that means if you guys were a little confused on that. It says weekly jobless claims declined to 223,000 below the 230,000 estimate. So this really didn't have the biggest impact on the markets today, believe it or not. It sent us down, but it did not have the ultimate impact on why we flushed and cratered into the ground towards the end of the day because the markets, they were down a lot, but they recovered almost instantly to that opening price. What actually killed the markets is right here. This drop right here, this one minute candle was a half a percent drop. My daughter won't stop screaming, so never mind that. We got to get down to business. So, like I said, this was a half a percent drop in one minute. This was actually because of what Fed Bullard said today. He calls for a big hike in interest rates to fight inflation. And specifically what he says was within minutes, Bullard's view uh, became the market's view with rate futures contracts now fully pricing uh, pricing an increase in the Fed's target range for its policy rate to 1% to 1.25% by the end of its policy meeting in June, with some bets on an even steeper rate hike path. He said that he supports that he would like to see 100 basis points in the bag by July 1st. That is a 1% interest rate hike. And that's going to 
bring us into the next part of this video that I do want to talk about because that's really all you guys need to know. That is confirming, uh, more so confirming, it's not definitive. He said he's going to leave it up to Chair Fed Jerome Powell, but nevertheless, it's probably going to happen. What actually came out today, and I wish I could show you guys this because it came up on the wire and it also did help coincide with the markets actually dropping. It was from this website. From SGH Macro Advisors, sghmacro.com, from Tim Dooley, uh, Tim got Tim Dyer, or, or something like that, and uh, it, like I said, it correlated with the markets falling. But he said that they wouldn't be surprised. SGH Macro Advisors would not be surprised if they did an interest rate emergency hike by tomorrow, if not by Monday, to help fight inflation and the last time this happened was a long time ago 2018 and the markets dropped substantially substantially because it throws everything out of whack and people start to get really really scared that the fed is going to tighten into a recession and earnings are going to be bad and the market's going to fucking collapse right so i wish i could pull that up for you guys but this is where it came from tim dies Tim Dyes is his name. So I'll see if this actually does come back uh, live today or later on tonight. But I think that's a very interesting um, headline that did come across the wire. This guy actually did used to work for Bloomberg as well. So guys like this, sometimes they know things that we don't. Sometimes they have insider information. So Keep that in mind. Your puts may make you a lot of money if this comes true, or it could just be a total false rumor and just speculation on their part, or they could know somebody. So keep that in mind. I'll definitely be on the watch for that. If anything crazy like that happens, we will bring that to you guys in a video as soon as that happens, because that is going to cause a major drop in the markets. And that would be unprecedented. So that's basically all as far as the macro events that did happen today. Today, You did have earnings like a firm got completely slapped into the ground. Down 21%. Down almost 4% here in after hours. Uh, Square, PayPal, SoFi, everything took a drop at the same time. This kind of... Um, around here correlated with a firm as well so firm did not help the markets kind of freak the markets out as well but now let's dive into the information that you guys need to know and if we're taking a look at amc let's go ahead and refresh this page we can see the short interest of free flow is estimated at 21.61 percent yesterday we got the exchange reported short interest data that did confirm the short interest is at 21.01 percent why you would short amc at 15 dollars per share and continue to short the stock is beyond me doesn't make any sense but that is to our benefit as we do know cost to borrow is at 2.4 percent share utilization is at 100 percent if you guys have not heard why this is and this is only my opinion but if you have shares to lend out that means you own shares of amc probably blackrock or vanguard why would you lend those shares out for a cost to borrow max of 2.4 percent or even up to four percent when amc is going up five to ten percent over the past couple of days you honestly would not do that and you're seeing institutional investors start to buy a lot of options very bullish options the 110 strikes for 2023 the 80 dollars strikes for 2023 and that has not happened in a long time so if you're somebody like blackrock or vanguard why would you lend out your shares you wouldn't so the share utilization would jump up dramatically days to cover at 2.53 so that is also looking good at the same time as far as the 13 f filings we could see that there's a lot of bullish activity going on there is no other way to hide that 63 percent increase 26 percent right there brand new almost 10,000 share position 18 percent right there 10 percent 77 percent 3 percent 68 percent the list goes on and on and on and the firms that are selling out these red lines like right there sold out of a put and some smaller long positions they're not very large positions that are being sold out sold out of as of right now don't let me get too ahead of myself i do want to take a look at the option flow for amc today and you're seeing 72 percent positive order value 52 institutional orders today for 34.61 million dollars that is a very very large amount and that is a very very bullish ratio nonetheless and you can see 23 dollar call for february 18th uh 
kind of just want to show you the big ones. $30 call for March 18th, $50 calls for May 20th. A lot of those came in today. Look at that. One firm just bow, 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 bow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight orders had to have been by the same firm, all for about $55,000. A piece, so that's well over a million dollars of the $50 strikes calls, obviously, for May 20th. So keep that in mind. Very, very bullish there. February 18th, 21, 50 call. Um, there's some really big ones. Another $50 call for May 20th. Uh, $20 call. There was some I was showing last night. Another $50 call for April 30. Uh, 35, 110, the 110 call for January 2023, another January 2023, the $80 call, and then a $30 call for March again. So it's looking very bullish, if I do say so myself. And th this is a lot of orders coming through today alone, $34.61 million. That's a lot relative to yesterday. We've seen a big price increase as well for AMC. You only had half the orders exactly half of the orders um yesterday and only 13.71 million dollars compared to 34.61 million today so it's very obvious why institutional investors like i said don't want to lend out their stock for pennies when all you see is institutional investors and option traders institutional option traders are loading up on the stock you wouldn't lend out your stock for two to four percent so that's why the share utilization is going up so much and that is all very bullish don't get me wrong there as far as the max pain you're looking at $17.50 per share and that is going to be by tomorrow it looks like we will remain above that unless the fed, fed does do an emergency rate hike which i think they should have done a long time ago because it's essentially long story short but if the economy starts to slow down and rates are at zero you can't really stimulate the economy anymore and keep us from going into a recession if that's the trajectory we are heading in so they need to get rates up fast, which does also lend somewhat credibility to that rumor, in my personal opinion, as well as this did correlate with, uh, you know, Fed Bullard's comments today about raising rates to 1% by July. I was thinking maybe it was some kind of soft landing to let the markets know, kind of let them get a little fearful before that happened. That's really take it with a tinfoil hat. It hasn't happened in a long time, and I wouldn't bag on it happening. But still, nevertheless, very, very interesting. Kind of like Credit Suisse just reported $1.7 billion of losses. Their worst loss in over five years. That's why all the executives were stepping down. They blame it on litigation cost. Definitely was not. We were correct on our assumptions about two months ago. So they are also, on a side note, not in a very good state at the current moment. So... I think that's very encouraging as well, because as we do know, they are invested in the marketplace too. And they do help a lot of hedge funds and institutions that are invested in the marketplace as well. As far as the stock tracker data, you're looking at 73,695 calls that are in the money, 77,000 calls that are out of the money. So a lot of dry powder, for lack of a better word, is already in the money. There is, you know, a little bit more calls compared to in the money that are out of the money. So that could have an effect tomorrow if the stock market does rally and AMC does rally. But anything can happen. We did drop like 2% across the board. So I wouldn't bag on it, but it's definitely possible. Like I said, as far as puts, only 3,800 puts that are in the money, out of the money puts at 110,000. So not too much dry powder left on the put side that is in the money at least. And all in all, it's looking like what we talked about over this past week you know exactly what could happen the puts a lot of them were in the money they ran out of the money and a lot of calls ran into the money from out of the money and that did help to drive this rally institutional investors are salivating at the mouth to buy these calls at the current moment very bullish numbers from the institutional order flows i just want to reiterate yet again we have not seen this kind of buying activity from institutions as far as options are concerned and the strikes that are the $50 strike, I mean, that's over 125% out of the money. So very, very bullish 
directionally bullish trades that they are taking so without ranting too much that's really what you guys need to know if you guys find value out of this video hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel as well as comment down below let me know what you guys think about this information put on your tinfoil how do you think this is possible what do you guys think about all this information if you guys want access to all of my trades in real time check that link out in the pinned comments down below go ahead follow me over on twitter as well that is also pinned in the top comment and finally, get yourself some free stock as well. Link for Mumu, link for Public, link for Weeble. Not a bad time, all things considered, to get yourself some free money. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.